Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since we've made a video, but I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about my summer 2024 EDC. What I've been carrying over the past few months uh, while we've been traveling around here. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so one of the most important things about your EDC is that it's actually something that you want to carry every day. A good EDC item is something that fits in and is comfortable for you and serves a high function that gives it the reason that you're, it's taking up space in your pockets, right? So um, I only carry a few items. I'm very minimalistic. Um, I like my EDC to be uh, efficient, light, like kind of unnoticeable. I don't want to feel it. I've got three kids. I've got a lot of stuff I'm moving around dealing with. For myself, I want it to be streamlined. <laughs> I don't want any excess because I've got plenty of excess uh, dealing with all the kids stuff, right? So. Um, this is what I'm carrying. Um, take a look here in my, in my front right pocket. Obviously, I've always got my phone. Um, and this is my pocket knife. It's a Benchmade bug out. And uh, it's been a great EDC knife for me. I've had it for a few years now. And really, it's been extremely low maintenance. Um, not had any issues with it. Um, it's been a great knife. Um, it's super lightweight, which is why I love it. You can barely feel it in your pocket. It has a great clip. I've never had it um, come off or just fall out of my pocket for any reason. Uh, so that's always nice. Uh, this, the blade has held up uh, quite well, considering that I'm pretty brutal with it. I use it for all kinds of things that I shouldn't. And um, the, only, the only little issues I've had with it, honestly, are... Uh, I took it swimming in the sea with salt water. It was clipped to my shorts, and I don't know if you can see uh, on the blade there, there's some some rusting. Also in the uh, locking mechanism here, on the spring in there, there's a little bit of rust. So I need to take it apart. I just don't have the tools um, right now while we're traveling. Um, but when I get back, I will take it apart and get it cleaned up. Or I'll send it into Benchmade, right? They'll, they'll fix it up. Um, what else? Um, oh, I did lose one screw. One of the, the screws here did fall out um, since as I've been carrying it. Um, so yeah, it's been a great knife. Uh, I really love it. It's super lightweight. I would recommend it. And um, in my other pocket, in my front left pocket here, I am carrying the Streamlight Micro. And, uh, this has been in my pockets, in my EDC for many years. I've talked about this light a lot before. Um, it's USB rechargeable. It's got plenty of brightness uh, for just daily tasks, finding the kids stuff that they drop uh, under the restaurant table, you know, things like that. Um, it's got some scrapes and scruffs, but uh, it's really held up, I'd say, to the abuse I've, I've put it through. I, the tail cap did uh, rip and it was hanging on for, for, for a while there, but it finally um, came all the way off, or maybe my four-year-old pulled it off. I don't remember, but um, yeah, I need to replace the tail cap on it, so, or the, the tail button. Anyways, um, works great. It's got two different modes, a high mode and a, a low, like a low, low mode. Um, the clip, the clip is pretty good. Um, I have had it fall out of my pocket a couple times, luckily. I've always been able to go back and find it in the grass or whatever <laughs> somehow. So this guy's still with me, even though I thought I have lost him a few times before. So, and then in that same pocket, in that same front left pocket here, uh, I also have the MK2 leather wallet um, that we released uh, a few years ago, maybe two years ago, I think. Um, it's a genuine premium leather wallet uh, with a laser cut, um, laminate Cordura insert. It can hold like six cards and a few few bills. Uh, not much more than that, so it sticks to the minimalist mentality that I have. I like everything to be extremely lightweight, like it's not there. And um, I, I really love this wallet. And I know lots of you guys love this wallet because we've been getting a lot of requests um, to release another set of these. And I will, uh, without spilling too much details, I will say that there's gonna be some uh, new varieties of this wallet coming hopefully in time for the holidays if we can get everything sorted out. So, yeah, I think, I think you guys will like it. I'm, I'm excited. 
Um, and then let's see, of course, uh, I'm always carrying my cell phone. Uh, this is an S23. And, you know, let's be honest, this is one of your um, biggest tools, uh, you know, EDC tools, really. Uh, that is it for my pockets. So you can see pretty lightweight. And this is my summer carry, by the way, where I'm just wearing, you know, shorts with small pockets. I don't I don't carry the additional stuff that in the winter I carry um, because in summer I'm carrying the rest of my EDC um, in uh, the cinch bag here. Uh, take this with me everywhere. So the, the, the last two items I'll, I'll talk about here in a second. Um, I did want to say that I usually am wearing a watch. This is just a Casio G-Shock. Um, nothing fancy, um, but gets the job done and uh, so, you know, watches are great tools to have. So maybe someday I'll get something something fancier, but uh, for now this this does does the job. And okay, so that's it for what is just on my person uh, in the summer. Now let's dive into the cinch bag. This was another limited edition item that we released a few years ago. Uh, they didn't do so hot, so we didn't uh, continue making them, but. Personally, um, I know me and, and a few other people who love this bag. Um, it's extremely high quality and uh, super lightweight. It's like a, you know, like a gym bag, but um, it's got made out of 500D Cordura, and then it's got a four-way stretch here and a front uh, zippered pocket that's separate from the inside. It's got stretch material on it. And uh, inside, it has a, a Velcro, soft Velcro panel, um, and uh, yeah. So what I've got in here is uh, a, one of our direct action tourniquet holders, and um, I've got a glow stick in the side, elastic there, and um, I love the ETQ, and uh, so I've got an ETQ wide in this tourniquet holder. Um, pull it out. Fits in there real good, comes right out. And uh, this is one of my favorite new tools. It's extremely lightweight. Um, I really like this tourniquet. I know we've been talking to you guys a lot about it, but uh, if you haven't got one of these, check out check out the website and go pick up an everyday carry tourniquet. Uh, these are made by Snake Staff Systems, and um, we've been introducing them inside of a lot of our products because we really uh, like this tourniquet. Uh, the direct action tourniquet holder, I just have it loose in here, um, but you could um, molly mount it or mount it to a belt. Some different options that come with uh, our direct action tourniquet holder. Alright, so the next thing I've got uh, in here is um, our EDC pocket trauma kit. And um, this is the uh, limited edition tiger stripe that we dropped uh, two months ago. Uh, rocking the uh, Vietnam 70s era vibe. So that's what you've got here. Uh, we've got it designed, you know, for one-handed use. So if you had an injured arm, you could just flick that. Things won't come running out, but uh, you'll be able to get into everything. So uh, I now we, we offer this kit with two different versions. One with the uh, SWAT tourniquet, like uh, you can see here, and then we do also offer it kitted up with the ETQ. But since I'm carrying that on the side. Um, I've got the SWAT TQ in here, um, there's a micro first aid kit, especially with kids, um, definitely getting into that quite often. And then uh, a pair of uh, Bear Claw nitrile gloves and tan, and the reason we use tan is so that you can see blood. Um, if you're doing a blood sweep on someone who you think has been injured, um, you can see blood on your gloves and, and you'll be able to identify that versus black gloves, it would be hard to see. And then uh, we also have a pack of uh, quick clot bleeding control dressing in here. Um, this is a hemostatic gauze that you can use to pack a wound um, to try to help your body create a clot uh, to stop the bleeding. So I think that um, like as far as medical goes, you know, this is our bread and butter. It's what we do. And, um, and I really love the comfort of knowledge of knowing that I have this on me. Um, especially, I'm always out with my kids, my wife. Um, 
they're always doing crazy stuff and having this really gives me the peace of mind to know that if something bad happens, my son's out carbon sticks or whatever and he cuts himself, I've got something here. If something really bad happens, um, I've got some extra stuff to be able to, to take care of them. So as a father, um, carrying medical in my EDC is extremely important and uh, it's also great because you can take it anywhere, right? There's no, no uh, laws or prohibitions against um, carrying medical items. So uh, unlike firearms, right? And you're more likely to use um, life-saving gear like this stuff uh, versus life-taking gear like a gun. So as, as much as I like the ability to, to defend myself and carry a gun, um, carrying life, I've never had to use my gun, but I have had to use um, my EDC medical gear multiple times um, and twice uh, in a real emergency where someone you know needed life-saving intervention so yeah um, if you guys don't have EDC medical gear make sure you check out our website we try to make it easy and convenient for people all right and uh, the last thing that I've got in this bag is um, we've got a velcro onto the back panel there I'll show you guys yeah, so I've got the uh, new Stash X mini EDC pouch velcroed in here, and uh, I'm just gonna take it off. I'll show you guys. Um, it's this guy right here. It's a really small pouch, about the size of your hand. Um, it's got hook velcro on the back, a little tab right here if you want to hook it on with a carabiner or something to your bag. It's made out of Dyneema fabric, which is really durable, some 500D Cordura, and uh, AquaGuard waterproof zippers. So, um, in here I've just got some electronic stuff, headphones, um, wire charging cable. Uh, I like this Goal Zero little battery power bank. Uh, a lighter. And uh, what else is in here? Oh, card reader, which I'm gonna need here in a minute. So, um, yeah. That is my 2024 summer EDC. Um, I hope you guys found some value in it and I look forward to making more videos for you guys. Um, it's been a long journey. Um, I'm glad to be back on YouTube talking to you guys. So if there's anything you wanna see us make a video about, please hit it up in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, see you guys in the next one.